Hey, what's going on guys? Buffalo Gamer 77 here. And today's video is going to talk about my pickups from Too Many Games, a convention that happened in Oaks, Pennsylvania, uh, which is about maybe a half hour, 45 minutes outside of Philadelphia uh, this past weekend. Uh, I went to New York, uh, New York City on Wednesday, and I was there until Thursday, and then went to, went to the convention on Friday, but we had a hotel in, on Thursday in, inside uh, Phoenixville, which is near uh, Oaks, Pennsylvania. Uh, so, I'll tell you a little about the games I picked up before the convention. Uh, so, we went to a few game stores in New York. Uh, we went to a game store called 8 Bitten Up. Uh, it was okay. I didn't buy anything there. And we went to another one called uh, Video Games New York, uh, which is in walking distance of the other store. Um, so, I mean, I didn't buy anything from those stores, but they had some cool stuff there that I hadn't seen before. Uh, prices wise, uh, they were okay. Maybe a little bit higher than uh, I wanted to pay for things, but I didn't want to buy too many things before the convention. So those two stores I didn't buy anything in, uh, but before the convention, we went to uh, like a flea market type store and then a different store that was about uh, maybe a half hour away from the convention. And first store I went to was called SNS Games, and I picked up uh, Double Dragon Three. Uh, it was ten dollars, so I figured you know ten dollars is a pretty good deal for it. I seen this game go for about twenty dollars, so it's about half half off from the normal price. Uh, the label is not that not that great, but could be worse. Let's see, next game, next two games I bought were from like, like a flea market type store and I picked up uh, Flintstones, the rescue of Dino, or I'm sorry, Dino, Dino and Hoppy. And uh, this is the first Flintstones game for the NES. This game was uh, $18, but I didn't pay $18 for it. Uh, next one I picked up was uh, General Chaos, this is for Sega Genesis, and this one is was $13, but I got both of them for $25. Uh, so I saved about $6 off the, the full price, so you could, you could say that. And it was a good, pretty, pretty good place. The guy's uh, name was The Video Game Guy, and he was located in like a flea market type place. He has some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, so if you're in the area, check it out. Now on to convention games I picked up. I picked up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six games, and about five games, and, uh, well, I'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, so the first game I picked up is a game made by Capcom, and it's called The Great Circus Mystery, uh, starring Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Uh, this game was $8, so one of the vendors had, it, had it, uh, the box in the game for uh, $15, but I picked up the game, this is loose by itself, for $8. Next game I picked up is called Girl of War. Now this game... Uh, I saw a few videos on YouTube where it was on people's hidden gems list, so I figured I'd, ch I'd check it out. And the vendor I bought this from had this game from, uh, let's see, eight dollars and five dollars. You know, so the prices changed. I'm not sure why. This label is in perfect condition, uh, so I'm not sure why the uh, price was higher or lower. Uh, but of course, I grabbed the five dollar one instead of the eight dollar one. Next one I, I picked up here is uh, Mega Man Three. I paid twenty five for it. Now, games at these conventions, they, they vary from, you know, 25 to 35 on Mega Man 3. And from Grill of War, I saw it between lowest is $5 and the highest was $10 that I saw it for. Uh, so you gotta shop around at these conventions and find the best price. Don't buy the first one you see, basically. I have Mega Man 1 and 2. I might get all of them, but uh, 4, 5, and 6 are on a pricier side. So I'm gonna see if I can find a better deal again than those ones. Next game I wanted for a while. It's sort of like a Mega Man clone. Uh, it is Mega Man clone. Uh, it's called Wampum. And Wampum, it's sort of like Mega Man where you pick the, you know, the weapon you want to use, like uh, the fire level, the ice level. And once you beat the boss, you get that ability and use that ability to beat other bosses with it. So, it's a pretty cool game. If you haven't heard of it, check out a video on it. The game, is, the price of this game is, has been increasing lately. Uh, so, if you want to buy this game, I get it now. Let's see, and the last game I bought is called uh, Decap Attack. Uh, this game is made, you know, is made, but who makes this game? I think it's Sega game, actually, makes it. I'm not too sure, but uh, the cartridge label on this game is in perfect condition. If you can see it there, top part of it. And the game came complete with the manual and the poster, the Sonic poster. It's pretty cool. To the back of it. 
This game was uh, $18, but I paid $15 for it, so. And the last two items I bought from the convention, I bought a TurboGrafx-16 EverDrive from Stone Age Gamer. And for purchases over $75, you got a free t-shirt, so I got, bought this, you got this t-shirt for free. And here's the EverDrive. And the goal of the EverDrive, I bought a TurboGrafx-16 console. Now, I never played a TurboGrafx-16 until, until I bought this console, actually. Uh, here's the back of it. So I was very excited to get a TurboGrafx-16, because I haven't had one before, played it before. And I have a few games for it upstairs, and uh, I figured I need something to play it on. And if I, why, not, you know, why not buy the console? The console was $100. Uh, there were a couple vendors there that they were selling TurboGrafx-16s. Uh, one guy wanted 135 and the other guy wanted 100 for it, so of course I got the $100 one. And one guy had a Turbo Duo, and he was asking 400 for it. Uh, my friend uh, offered him 350 he, he went down to 370 but you know he wouldn't go any lower than that. So uh, Turbo Duo is a pretty cool, it plays the, the CD-ROMs, uh, CD games for the Turbo Graphics. So if you, you know, check it out if you want to know more information about it. Uh, well, let's see. Well, I got two more things here actually. Now this is my uh, the badge for the convention, and here's the program for it. As you can see, it's Zelda themed. I picked up this, this uh, unauthorized, unofficial Castlevania book. It's pretty cool. It talks about a lot of uh, Castlevania games, almost all of them, right in here. If not all of them, I didn't go through all of them yet, but it's pretty cool. It was twenty dollars for the book, and I picked up a Nintendo Power. Uh, this one is uh, Super Metroid, and it's almost in perfect condition. This one, the pages are ripped out, uh, easily attachable, and the poster's still attached as well. Uh, so, well, these, this has been my Too Many Games pickup, pickups, and uh, thanks for watching the video, I appreciate it. Please comment below and tell me which item or items I bought that are the, the best you think, and if you played any of the games I picked up, let me know how you like them. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I appreciate your guys' support. Have a good night.